Let's learn about the dashboard screen. The dashboard is where you'll find your favorite playlists, your favorite content, your schedule status, and your history of songs that have played since you loaded the player. To load a favorite playlist, it's as simple as clicking or tapping on the list you're looking for and following the prompts. If you want to add a favorite playlist here, also very simple. Click on the plus button, and then in the search menu, you can either search at the top here or go into one of the folders below and choose the playlist you're looking for. So in this case, I'm going to click in the summer folder and choose summer retro sizzler. Now that's a new favorite playlist I can play on the fly at any time. When it comes to favorite content, think again. These are messages that you need to play on the fly frequently and you want to have quick access to them. So there's a variety of buttons you can assign here. And to do that, click on the plus button. Choose either one of the existing buttons or a new one by clicking on it or tapping on it. And then in the search menu, same idea. Search for it here at the top or you can go into one of the folders below and choose what message you'd like to add to that button. In this case, I'm going to pick this closing in 10 minutes message. And now that is a playable button in the favorite content section of the dashboard that I could play at any time by clicking or tapping on this. And this will auto fade the music and play that message. In the schedule status area, we can see the next playlist, content, video text, or player command coming up. And this is based on automations that you have set up. And below schedule status is your history. So any and all songs that have played or pieces of content since you loaded the player. For a variety of other tutorials, be sure to check out the tutorials page. Or if you don't find what you're looking for, have a quick chat with the support team and let us know how we can help.